Now here's my completed box and the lid and the threads. I'm going to show you how I made that. But before I do, I want to just say something to my wife. 40 years ago today, December 14th, we were married 40 years ago. That's amazing. That's really amazing. And if it weren't for my wife, I couldn't do this. She gives me the freedom to just come out here for hours and hours and play around. And that's a, that's a tremendous gift. And all I have to offer back is just a bunch of round stuff that I make out here. Well, the rest of it I'll say to you later on. But thank you very much. Now let's do some wood turning. Good morning, welcome to my shop once again. Today I am working on completing this little box. And I've got the base of this pretty much finished. It's a nice piece of walnut. I need to apply some more finish to that. The lid is out of holly. And there's a, a little knot coming out of this, and I'll show you a close-up of that. And I've got that uh, kind of drilled out with one of my rotary tools. And I'm going to fill that with some black ebony or black wood sawdust. And I'm going to make a black wood knob on that. It's going to be more of a handle, so you can lift that lid off. It's not going to be a finial of any kind. And I'm going to thread it. I'm going to thread this holly. Now, I couldn't chase threads in that by hand, I don't think. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a tap and I'll show you how I do that in just a second. So I'll readjust the camera and first of all I'm going to drill this out with the appropriate drill bit and then I'm going to tap that with the machinist tap. Now here's my machinist tap that I'm going to use for this and this is really easy to do and if you're a thread chaser you either have a wood that's too soft to thread chase by hand or um, you have too small of an opening here for your female recess, so I'm going to use this tap. And every tap I've ever seen has the markings for the threads per inch, and this one's a 16 thread per inch tap. And it also has the drill size you need, which is a zero drill for this particular tap. And in my pen blank kit, I've got a zero drill. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drill that out. And let me show you the underside of my, my lid. I still have a bit of a tenon on this so I can chuck that up. And I'll take that off later on. I'll figure out a way to do that. Uh, I have something in mind. So I'm going to line up my, uh, my chuck here. Now this lathe I'm using is my old Delta, trusty Delta steel bed. It's a little bit noisy, so I'll probably do a voiceover instead of trying to talk over the, the motor of this thing. And this is a Brad Point bit that I'm using, so it'll give me a nice clean hole in this. Now the way I'm going to do this is I have my tap chucked up into a Jacob's chuck and I'm going to put that in the tailstock of my lathe. Very important, I'm not going to run the, the lathe. Okay, I'm going to do this by hand, so this is important. Okay, my, my motor is not going to be spinning on this. I've got this in here just to line up my tap and I'm going to just advance that just a little bit and I'm going to just advance that by hand. Now I can feel those threads biting into the wood. And after I've gone a rotation or so, I'm going to back that off and clear any bits of wood that are in there. And I'm going to keep going, maybe another rotation or so. 
clear the shavings. Now I really feel that uh, a tap like this is cutting a lot more than your, your thread chaser by hand. You can hear my dog back there rooting for a ball of cocoa. So I'm going to continue to advance my tap. And this really works really nicely. This lines this up very well. Now I cannot see any threads on my tap, so I'm way into the wood as far as I need to go. Let's back that off and we'll inspect those threads. Now I'm sure you can't see in there, they're really nice. I think those will serve me very well. So I've got this lid pretty much done and all I want to do is a little bit more sanding on this and I'm going to put a lacquer finish on this. All right. And one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to clean my hands really well because this holly will get dirty and it's really not very finished. So I'll get to that part and I'll show you the next step. Now I'm working on my small delta lay that I've got my, my uh, handle for my lid chucked up in here. I've created a little bit of a tenon on here. And I'm going to reverse that. And I could probably finish that with this square, but I like to, you know, make a round tenon because I think it uh, chucks up a little bit more securely. I'll bring up my tailstock just for a little bit of support on this. Now I really only need about half of this for my lid. So I'm going to establish another tenon on the other side. So when I cut this off, I'll have that tenon already on there. So eventually I'm going to part this in half and I'm going to put a tenon on here. Right now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my 16 TPI thread chaser and just practice. Okay, this is going to be removed so it's not going to hurt anything just to, just to practice on this. Now this is going to tell me if this piece of wood is any good for thread chasing. Yeah, it looks pretty good. So I'll just continue to chase some threads on there. Now as I chase that, I'm getting a, a really pretty nice shaving from that. That indicates that that's a really nice piece of wood. It should be just fine for thread chasing. And this is a really good opportunity to just practice. And those threads are excellent. So anyway, I'm going to go back and change the belt and establish that tenon on there. I'm going to remove my tail center as I cut this off. It's a little bit safer to do that. Okay, so there's my piece for my next project and that's all ready to go. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to establish my male area here, the, the uh, spigot or the tenon for my thread chasing.
So I've established my tenon on there for my threads. And I'm just a little bit big, but you need to be uh, a little bit larger. So as you chase that down, it'll fit properly. Okay, I'm gonna establish a recess at the back of my threads right there. A little bit of a chamfer on the start of my threads. Now I've got my lathe speed about 250 or 300 RPM. Now that chamfer on the start of my threads helps start the thread. So I'll just try my lid here a little bit and just starting to fit on there. So I'm going to start straightening out my thread chaser so it's more 90 degrees to my threads. That didn't take long. Now, at the angle you're at, I'm not sure if you can tell, but I was actually moving my thread chaser past 90 degrees because the start of my threads are okay. They're sized pretty well, but I've got a little bit of a taper on there. And I'm just trying to hit the, the very back of my threads. Those are very nice. Try the lid one more time. And I'm still tight on that, so let me finish that up. I'm going to take a little bit of that taper off back here with my point tool. Go back to chasing speed. Now off camera I put a fair bit of lacquer on the top of this just to protect it. And I don't know if you can see it, but I'm getting it pretty gunked up with this black wood I'm using. So I got my threads established. They're nice. And I'm going to turn my lathe on. And I got a little bit of wobble in there, which is okay. That indicates that I'm, I'm really close. They're, they're threaded very nicely and I'm, gonna, I'm happy with that. So on to the next step. Now I've got my lid chucked back up into my old delta lathe. I got my handle just about completed. I did a little bit of work when it was still on this part right here, this tenon. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just use my lid as a screw chuck. And the threads are nice. Now as I put this in here, I'm going to bring up my tailstock for a little bit of support. And I'm going to do as much as I can on this with the tailstock up there. And then I'll remove it and do a little bit of sanding. Okay, I like that so far. I can only reach in there so much with that tailstock. So the rest of this is going to be without tailstock support.
Okay, a little bit of sanding and finish on that and I'll show you the near finished lid.